Yes, and good morning to all. My name is the Reverend Father Scott Brennan, Rector of St. George's Parish to Providence, Bahamas, as we celebrate on this Friday, the 24th day of June, 2022, our Diocesan Patronal Festival. Shall we bow our heads in prayer? Almighty God, by whose providence your servant John the Baptist was wonderfully born, and sent to prepare the way of your Son, our Savior, by preaching repentance. Make us so to follow his teaching and holy light that we may truly repent according to his preaching and following his wonderful example, constantly speak the truth, boldly rebuke vice, and patiently suffer for the truth's sake. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. As we celebrate this wonderful patronal festival today, the 24th day of June, 2022, we're so delighted to remember our patron saint, St. John the Baptist. John the Baptist is so awesome because through his life's legacy, he showed us how to prepare the way. The scriptural reference I want us to look at today is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1 through 3. It reads as follows. Comfort, O oh comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that a penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. As we listen to the words of Isaiah, he speaks about the wonderful experience will happen once the people are fully restored. When we look at the life witnessing God example of John the Baptist, he too was a prophet who prepared the way for the Lord. Hence that third verse, a voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. John the Baptist was so powerful in his stand to prepare the way of the Messiah, the Christ. And through his success, he made sure that he was the forerunner, the predecessor, the advanced messenger, the herald, the official messenger, bringing good news, the harbinger, that wonderful person who announces or signals the approach of another. And so as we celebrate during this wonderful experience, we celebrate the life of John the Baptist. He was faithful, he was obedient, he was respectful, and he was energetic to carry the gospel message forward. On this wonderful experience, we celebrate the lives of all persons who worked so hard to prepare the way of the Lord through preaching in particular. Later on this evening, we're going to celebrate the wonderful legacy of the Most Reverend Drexel Gomez, a retired Archbishop of the Province of the West Indies and our Assistant Bishop of our Diocese, who will celebrate 50 years as a bishop. We congratulate him on his Golden Jubilee experience. Also too, during this wonderful time, we remember other clergy persons who have done so well in our church. We remember what fondness persons who celebrate their anniversary to the diaconate, Father Dwight Bow, Father I. Ramfley Brown, Archdeacon James Palacios, Father Enrique McCartney, and to the Sacred Order of Priests, Bishop Leish Boyd, the Very Reverend Harry Bain, Father Dwight Bow, Father I. Ramfley Brown, Archdeacon Keith Cartwright, Father Stephen Davies, Archdeacon James Palacios, and Father Andrew Toppin. And so as we celebrate this wonderful experience of our paternal festival, let us always remember the importance of carrying out the message of God. The hymn writer tells us in the CPWI hymn 779 when it comes to understanding John the Baptist. It reads, the great forerunner of the morn, the herald of the world is born, and faithful heart shall never fail, with thanks and praise his light to heal. With heavenly message Gabriel came that John should be that herald's name. And with prophetic utterance told, his actions great and manifold. Thank you so much for listening to this morning's devotions from the Anglican Church. Please share this devotion with many persons as you can as we celebrate God together. Once again, this is Reverend Father Scott Brennan wishing you a pleasant and wonderful Baturnal Festival experience as we celebrate God together. Amen and amen. <laughs>